and we're recording. Hey there YouTube, my name is Kirby's Boss. Welcome to my room, welcome to my channel, and today it's been a minute since I've uploaded. It's been like two weeks, three weeks, going on three weeks. Uh, and I definitely want to apologize for that just because I have, one, been super busy with school, two, I've been kind of taking a, a break in a sense just from like content creating because I've been traveling a lot and I'm also kind of just going through a lot of stuff and I know that I want to be able to figure out things in my life or I really jump back into stuff like this but feeling a lot better now I'm working on all kinds of projects for you guys I'm editing my Israel vlog lol literally so much footage that I'm going through I'm working on other amazing projects I actually just did a really cool thing with forever 21 for those of you who follow me on Instagram and Twitter which if you don't you should and you all know that I did an amazing meet and greet with them and it went so well a lot of you guys came some of y'all even flew out from different states to come meet me and we took pictures we got a shop we got to enjoy the awesome sales that forever 21 was doing but I especially just want to thank them for allowing me to have the opportunity to host an amazing meetup and to celebrate the grand opening of one of their new stores at the Allen premium outlets in Texas so that was really cool I now have amazing clothes stocked up in my closet for the winter season because forever 21 got your girl that hook up with all those sales that they're having so yeah I just want to shout out forever 21 for that opportunity because they literally reached out to me out of nowhere I've been a huge fan of their products forever literally I own so much stuff from forever 21 so I just wanted to give them a quick little shameless plug and thank them for that opportunity because it was amazing so I bet you're wondering what the crap this video is and I know some of you guys might be thinking a we want funny content you must not have any content since you're just doing a Q and A that is not correct as I mentioned, I'm working on a ton of projects at the moment. Some really cool content for you guys and kind of just brainstorming what I want to do for the 2019 year because that's literally around the corner. What the crap? So I wanted to do a little update Q&A. It's been a while since I've done one. Enjoy. So I asked you guys on my Instagram through their question thing and here we go. Do you like Christmas or Thanksgiving better? Definitely Christmas because that Christmas ham, the Christmas season, it's all about Jesus. Let's go. Kirby, do you have any insecurities? Well, right now I got a little friend on my face and I'm not feeling too secure about that but you know what I'm not perfect nobody's perfect everybody breaks out every now and again here's the thing I it's not that I don't like to talk about my insecurities because I'm very open but the thing is, is that I try not to dwell on those thoughts I try not to dwell on my insecurities I try and dwell on the truth that Christ uh, says about me so whenever I do feel insecure about maybe how I look or how I feel in different situations or literally whatever like wherever I feel insecure like I am NOT enough at the end of the day like that's where insecurity really stems from is the feeling of well I'm not enough I always remember the truth that Christ says about me that he says I am enough that I am his beloved that he has set me apart that, that his power is made perfect in it and that he is given glory so I'm trying to retrain my mind with my insecurities to dwell on truth to dwell on everything that Philippians 4 8 tells me what's lovely what's commendable what's true but is praise with all those things but definitely check out that scripture and hold hold truth and hold up your insecurity next to the truth of what God says about you and who he is and who he created you to be and who you are and speak that life over yourself don't dwell and don't allow those insecurities to take root in you because that's when destruction comes that's when depression will come out that's when anxiety will come out that's when that's when worry and doubt and comparison yeah speak truth over yourself and meditate on that and whenever you feel like satan's trying to point out an insecurity in you that's when you say no but what's the truth what's the truth i'm going to speak truth into existence and i am going to deflect that little flaming dart and it's not gonna stand walmart or target okay honestly walmart has been stepping up its game the produce section at least by me uh, but definitely target even it's a little bit more bougie but like Little bougie okay do you have any Jesus book recommendations do I have any Jesus book recommendations I literally if you you probably saw my story the other day uh, that I have an entire shelf up on my wall that is stacked with books I also have a little bookshelf over here you can't see it uh, that is again stacked with books but one book that I highly recommend is The Supernatural Ways of Royalty. That is an incredible book. It will definitely boost your confidence and remind you of who you are as a child of God. <laughs> Kirby, what is your relationship status? If I had a dollar 
for every time. So currently I am single and it has been a wild ride. Kirby, what's your favorite food? All right, so I have a couple. First one, anything Italian. I love, 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 love Italian food. It is so good. If you don't like it, get out. I also love raspberries. I think raspberries are the best fruit ever. One of the best fruits ever. I just love fruit in general. I also love chocolate chip cookies. Y'all don't even know. I could, I can down chocolate chip cookies anytime, any day, anywhere. So good. I also love bread. Oh my gosh, I sink in love bread. I love bread. I love cheese. But to top it all off, mashed potatoes and white country gravy oh like I know milk and honey are biblical but like mashed potatoes and gravy pretty stinking close second what's your favorite fast food restaurant okay I'll give y'all my top five Panera Chick-fil-a Payway Chipotle why do they all have a in it what the heck and Raisin Cane's Mm, definitely my top five. So stinking good. Can you come to Canada? I love you so much. I really want to come to Canada. So stinking bad. I would love to come visit up there, especially during the summer. The thing is, is that I do not have money. I'm also graduating in May 2019, so real soon. So uh, your girl is trying to save money. So when I do move off of university campus, uh, I will be able to afford a place and live and not die. You have a woman role model. Obviously, my mom is one of my biggest role models. I love her. She is so strong. She is a strong woman. Also, Christine Kane. I cannot rave enough about how much I look up to her. I don't idolize her because I do not worship people uh, in any way. I am just so amazed at the speaking ability she has, the way she has to communicate, the heart she has for people, the heart she has for God. I also have an amazing mentor by the name of Lee Getman Allen and she's awesome. She's a big role model in my life and I really look up to her and trust her advice. So LGA, if you're watching this, you're the best. What is your favorite biblical story? If I had to pick one, it would definitely be the prodigal son. Just because that is something that shows the unconditional and unending love of the father. Describe your trip to Israel in one word. Hmm. If I had to pick one word, refreshing. Just because I got to take a break, it I wouldn't say it necessarily felt like a vacation because we were constantly doing stuff. I was filming, creating content, but like I got to be with other Christians. I got to be with Christian content creators uh, and speakers and preachers and musicians and, and people that are kind of like a part of my world. But we also got to go and just like enjoy ourselves. We weren't there necessarily for business. We weren't there for uh, to speak at a conference. We were just there to enjoy the Holy Land and just refresh our perspective on everything. It was, it was so good, so well needed. I'm still processing everything. It was, it was incredible. I still can't believe I had that opportunity. Thank you Israel Collective again for that opportunity because literally one of the best experiences of my life. <laughs> Kirby, how do you keep a healthy diet? Only buy healthy stuff? When you are a college kid and you only have X amount of money, when you have to budget and you buy food, you eat that food. You eat the food that you buy. So if you're buying crappy food, well, you're not gonna see great results, but if you're buying fresh food, if you're buying vegetables and all those things, you're going to eat those things, right? Like that's kind of just common logic. Like I feel really good and I'm, again, taking pride in the food I'm making and you know, I'm gonna find a hubby with that food, so y'all eat. Hashtag wife me up. Kirby, how old are you? Okay, so I think it's funny how many people don't know how old I am because I genuinely look like I'm 16, but I'm 21 years old. I will be 22 on March 5th, which is weird. Do you like avocados? Nope. I do not like avocados. I'm a pretty picky eater. No, 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 no. All right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for videos every single week. Yes, I'm getting back into that. Don't worry about it. Ooh, hit the bell. Hit the bell, hit the Drake bell. Also, shout out to Drake Bell because I was live on Instagram Live the other day and he tuned in and watched it. What? But anyways, comment down below what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future. My PO box is down below if you ever want to send me anything and so is my social media, which you should follow me on. But with all that being said, remember to keep on keeping on and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Stay stellar. Wah.